so hello guys um, I wanted to show you a replay of a very nice T62 game I had today um, it's on the new map Northwest um, the matchup is quite mm, it's not a good matchup it's pretty much G10 but not so many T mm, not so many T10 tank destroyers so it should be uh, possible to do some good damage here so let's see what we can do here so I'm heading uh, north route An IS-8 is getting spotted in the middle route and an IS-7. So I think I just keep going. I can't shoot them from here. We got a T-54. T-54 scout. So we spotted an IS-8 here. Uh, doesn't come out. But I wait patiently. So now I see this uh, retreating. Get clutch up into him. And track him with that shot. Get another one. And I kill him. First kill. And more targets. That shot hits a turret. And he's gone. But he's spotted again. I aim for his engine deck. And I hit him. I trigger his premium fire extinguisher. This will be an uh, expensive lose for him. Expensive round, I mean. Gotta see if it's a lose. There's another 140. Look at that shot. It's basically just <laughs> the front of the turret, or the side. And I just hit between the wheels of the uh, train. But I won't be so lucky again. <laughs> now I'm spotted. Don't want to waste a shell. So, what I am not noticing right now is that our uh, southern side is pretty much stuck. And they got all the heavies of the enemies there. So, uh, pay attention to that. Right now we're still uh, ahead, 4 to 3. And I'm looking for targets. We get to hit that 7 or 4. But, yeah, that one hit the gun. He spots me, I get into cover.
as you can see the south side has problems the enemy is advancing and now it's 5-5 five, five. I missed the show seem to be AFK here <laughs> maybe I was on the desktop for some seconds and again and now I think <laughs> it's 5-9 in about 20 seconds so the southern flank has been completely destroyed nothing screw it I don't get shots anymore here and I got to get uh, closer, got to play aggressive on this flank. Try to get up here. But unfortunately it's... You can't go up here. I haven't played this map that often. Still have to find out where I can go and where I can't. I just go down here. Gotta take a look for that Jack Panzer E100 and the E3. So I'm going slow and as far on the side as I uh, as I can. Go through th through the trees to see if I can get a spot on the Jack Panzer. But he gets spotted above. So I think just have to look out for the E3. And I can't spot him either. I think, yeah, maybe I can flank that guy. But he gets spotted also up there. I turn around and uh, I want to shoot them in the back. So you see it's 8-11 we are losing. They are nearly in our base now and it's only me and two tank destroyers left. Sona 4 can assist me here. I get this one for you from behind and the tank destroyers in front of me. They're not paying attention to me. Right now they're turning around. And I'm retreating just in time. Missing a scoop over. And I'm going for the wreck here to get cover. Because right now I think they're just coming at me. I hit the slower places here. And I'm trying to move out. Move him out. Missed the shot. <laughs> and this shot just. Well. Um, maybe he was drunk, but he just hit my tracks. And. <laughs> the Yak Panzer 100 just hit. Uh, my turret and bounced. I kill him with a shot in the log laces and the E3 is still reloading I'm still tracked but I repair my track so I can circle him and easily destroy him now the object zone of 4 managed to get a kill but now I'm all alone there's still a 210 tank destroyer who is just missing and the T-54 is probably begin to cap soon so I think just uh, as fast as possible back to the base because I surely can't outcap them
And I don't know where they are, but they start capping. T-54 started capping. There's still... No. x tells me that they are both in the cap radius. So I know exactly where they are. But I don't have much time. So I think... Uh, just go this straight way. Probably I should have gone uh, around here. But the time just didn't allow it. So I full throttle go in. And I hit a shot on the move. But unfortunately the team was right there. And now I have to get the car behind the only wreck. T-54 driver is not done. It's very close, it gets behind me. I have to deal with it. Thanks, try it first. And now it tracks me. I can't hit the 268 now. So I turn around, get a last hit into him and then get destroyed. That was an awesome game. 6,900 damage. And uh, we managed to uh, get pretty many decap points. Okay, so let's take a look at some post-game stats. Uh, we managed to get nearly 80,000 credits on a defeat and 750 experience without a premium account. With a premium account, we have got 120,000 credits on a defeat without any hero medals. Why the hell did I get any medals for this? I don't know. Uh, we managed to finish first with 6,911 damage and 700 experience and 5 kills. The Object 704 driver was also very competent. 4,500 damage, 3 kills. But it just wasn't enough. Because if you look at the enemy T-54 driver 4,700 damage and seven, k seven kills. He just carried them in a tier nine ten game in a tier nine tank. Uh, out of 30 shots fired, we hit 26 and 23 penetrated, uh, which is a pretty nice ratio, I think. Uh, we received a potential damage of 4,350, and also got some spawning damage. 900. Even though we fired 30 shots, we managed to get a credit earn on this match. 17,000 credits with that premium account. So I think that was a pretty good match in the 262. Although I still haven't got my Ace Tanker badge in this. It's a shame. Uh, I'm just not good at tier 10 games, but this one was the best so far I think. So guys if you liked it uh, rate it below and uh, give me some feedback. Bye!